from How to Eat, and today we are extremely excited to share our new set of recipes with you. It's not even one recipe today, we're going to be sharing five. You're so lucky. Super lucky. So um, we are sharing our top five favorite quickie meals for those nights when you just can't cook for whatever reason. Maybe it, you're working late, maybe you can't pick up your kid on time, and maybe when you finally do, they're ravenous and they can't wait for 15 to 20 minutes. Or maybe you just don't want to, and that's okay too. Yeah, yeah sometimes it's there. Just, yeah, you meal prep to your be best, best abilities. You can. Yes, exactly. And sometimes you just don't feel like freaking cooking. Yeah. So um, this means that we are not going to offer you ideas around specific portion sizes for your family because everyone's going to have a different appetite. Yeah. Uh, we're also not going to, you know, tell you to aim for a certain number of carbs or grams of protein. Um, because we, that's not our, that's not what we do. No, just eat till you're full, eat till you're satisfied, and that's it. We're going to provide you with five amazing balanced options that are totally dietitian approved. And as Aaron said, they're all done in five minutes. Exactly. Another great thing about all the meals we're going to show to you today is that you can eat them on the go. So you're busy, you're driving one to one program, someone somewhere else, yeah. you have a late meeting, you're going to work out, you're going to see a movie. These can all be packed up and eaten on the go. They can also be eaten at different times. Yeah. So if someone comes home late from work and can't eat with the kids at 5.30, these can be prepped. Sorry, volume's on my computer. Uh, <laughs> We're good. Okay, these, we always have to have a technical, technical mishap, right? Every time. It would not be a how to eat Facebook Live. So um, they can be prepped and saved in the fridge for whenever someone's ready to eat. So you don't have to make five different five-minute meals because right. that would defeat the whole purpose. And you can all be eating the same things even if you can't sit down and eat together. Yeah. And they can all be jazzed up too. So you want to throw some hot sauce on there, maybe you yeah. want to have a little glass of wine, that's fine too, right? That's a vegetable, a uh, fruit. But glass of wine. So that we're going to stretch it a little bit here. <laughs> so let's get started. Yes. Okay, so the first one is one of my go-tos for sure, yeah. the hummus plate, as right. Aaron will show you. So your source of protein here is hummus. You could be ambitious and whip up your own, but these are five minute meals. So we're not going to do that. Store bought. Yes. We're going to the store and we're buying our favorite brand, which happens to be Sabra. Yeah. Um, I just, I love it because it has all the ingredients in it that you'd find in hummus. Yep. Chickpeas, tahini, oil, salt, and that's about it. Some spices. Um, with some whole grain crackers, some fruit and veg. The crackers that we like are Triscuits. Regular old Triscuits. Yeah. That you find everywhere. I think Triscuits get a bad rap, but there's literally only three ingredients in them. Whole grain wheat, a little bit of oil, and a little bit of salt. And if you buy the low sodium brand, you can mm -hmm. even control your salt level that way. It's a really good snack option. It's perfect for a meal. It's a no-cook, whole grain option. And another great thing about this is that it's utensil-free, so it's fun. Ooh, dippable. Yeah, that's what it's called in our house, a dippable dinner. Yeah. So it's fun for the kids to just dig right in, and also it's less cleanup, which yeah. is huge for me. My daughter will just eat that with her okay, hummus. She's... She'll eat the hummus with her fingers. <laughs> she's special. <laughs> okay, so Next second one. option. Um, breakfast for dinner. We, are, we eat cereal sometimes for dinner, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Dinners don't have to be elaborate meals. They can be as simple as your breakfast. Mm -hmm. A whole grain cereal, something that doesn't have a lot of added sugar in it, is what we're looking for. So I really like um, plain shredded wheat with added bran. Mm -hmm. It's just wheat and bran. Those are the two ingredients. You can't get simpler than yeah. that. But something like Cheerios or raisin bran that I think may get a that's bad rap sometimes. Yeah, and that's what we've got right there too. Yeah, whole grain, whole grain flakes. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's some sweetened raisins in there. Uh, but overall, it's a good choice. You could also replace whole grain cereal, cold cereal with oatmeal. Uh, in terms of what we use for um, protein, we use milk. So it can be a lacto, it can be a, a homo milk, or uh, I choose lactose free. Right here. A bit of a lactose situation. Um, or we also like to use unsweetened soy milk in our house. So soy milk is really the only great substitute for cow's milk in terms of protein and staying power. Mm -hmm. The other milk substitutes, um, like almond beverage or um, rice beverage or hemp coconut beverage milk, or too. coconut beverage, yeah. yeah. They don't, um, they don't stand up in terms of protein, mm -hmm. so uh, you would have to replace the protein with something else. We use co um, almond milk. We, me and my husband love almond milk, but okay. so I would add to my cereal some nuts or if I'm having it with oatmeal, then you want to add some Greek yogurt to it for some protein and staying powder. Right. Um, I know otherwise my husband will complain that 20 minutes later he's hungry. So we've discovered you need to add something to it, even an egg on the side, just to add that little 
extra bit of protein to it. Yeah, perfect. So there you go. Breakfast for dinner. Speaking of eggs, our third option um, is a really quick cook egg. So um, these are mostly no cook meals, things that you can just kind of throw together on a plate and are well balanced. This is our quick cook option. Mm -hmm. It's an egg simply cooked in the microwave. Really easy, just whisk it up like you were making scrambled eggs. You want to add a little bit of oil to it or just spray the bowl so that it doesn't stick. And we yeah. microwave this one for a minute. Yeah. And it's perfect. It comes out like a scrambled egg. And it's perfect size for your piece of toast if you want to make yourself a quick egg, -y egg sandwich or if you just want to serve toast alongside. Um, and you can either serve a little bit of veggies or fruit on side. Mm -hmm. We just have some cut up melon here. It's a really well rounded meal. And the bread. What bread do you like there? Uh, I, well, I like pretty much any whole grain bread, but my favorite um, brand is called Stone Mill. Yeah, that's what we buy too. Yeah, it's, it's like only whole grain, it's nice and seedy, which is what we like. It's got flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good option. So okay. speaking of whole grain bread, the other option and my go-to, mm -hmm. um, some nights I, I play volleyball and I come home from work and I have just enough time to cuddle with my daughter before I have to put her to bed and leave again. And so I need an option to go. And so I will um, grab a whole wheat pita, I'll slather it with a little natural peanut butter, and I'll either put a banana in it and roll mm -hmm. it up, or I'll put some apple slices in it and roll it up. You can see right here, we're using a wrap too. You yeah. can use a whole grain wrap. Just look for the ones with the simplest ingredients. Yeah, yeah. We also have a recipe on our blog for whole grain wraps if you so <laughs> choose to make your own, but that's not really a five minute meal. No, it's not like 15. Yeah. Um, we're serving it with yogurt. We've talked about yogurt in a previous food demo, we buy the 2% or higher because it just tastes better, it's gonna make you feel full longer. Yeah. Especially with Greek yogurt, um, the 0% ones can be a little bit chalky tasty. Yeah, that um, tastes good. Yeah, um, more of a story. I think that's that a PSA. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but also, also Greek yogurt has more protein than regular yogurt too, right. so that's another reason that we buy this. Yeah, it'll keep you feeling fuller longer. And so finally, oh, our last but not least, the tuna, tuna wrap. wrap. So canned tuna is something that we both always have on hand. Yeah. Um, I buy it packed in water just because I like it better. Uh, if you don't like tuna, you could use canned salmon too. That would work right here. Yeah. You can find two different types of tuna in the grocery store. So the light tuna or the white tuna. The light tuna is made with skipjack and the white tuna is made with albacore. If you're concerned about mercury, then just go with the light tuna. Light tuna is also cheaper, so that's another reason that you might want to buy it. But if you'll only like the white tuna, then only eat the white tuna. Yeah, that's okay too. Yeah. So that is five meals. Questions. And that was really fast. Yeah. Um, so we have, oh, stone mill bread. Yes, someone uh, during in the Callister is uh, confirming that it's snow mill bread and that he agrees. Oh, okay. Um, and amen to 2% or higher. Thank you, Andrea, for watching. Yeah, sister. Um, in terms of yogurt. We, that's, yeah, as you said, it's kind of our PSA. Yeah. That tastes awesome. Um, and thank you to Rian for joining us. Which brand of bread is that again, and why do you prefer this one? Uh, yeah, as I said, um, it's it's a so what you want to look for in the ingredient list of any bread, really, if you want to find a healthful product, is that the first ingredient is whole grain, whole wheat in a wheat bread. Mm -hmm. um, you'll also see sometimes in stone mill breads that they have added like flax seeds and yeah. chia seeds and other kind of sprouted grains, uh, which are great. And I also like something that's. Um, like that, that fits an egg. That's not that's too big for an egg. I just like the size of this one. Yeah, I also really like Stoma makes a sourdough one. They have a line of delicious. Yeah, sourdoughs. it's amazing. Yeah, so that's that's the one that I choose. Yeah. Um, and Rian is saying yeah. So protein and staying power is really important. So you'll notice that we talked about protein in all of these meals. It's an essential part of of any meal really, mm -hmm. in terms of staying full for a longer period of time. So we've got hummus, we've got milk for milk substitute, we've got an egg, we've got yogurt and peanut butter, and we've got tuna, so a, a source of protein. We have your meals. protein, your carb, your fruit and veg, and all of these meals. So five minute, no cook, well rounded, and you're done. Perfect. We have one talking about the very special yes. Facebook Live we have coming up. We do have a very special Facebook Live coming up. We're going to go a little off the beaten path and try something new based on some feedback that we've had from family and friends that want more help with meal prepping at home um, and just don't really know where to start. So we have decided to join you, hopefully, for a virtual meal prep hour. Um, what that means is we are gonna set aside uh, some time, an hour, on Monday, May 22nd. It's the Monday of the long weekend. So it might not, you might not think it's ideal, but I was thinking about it and I think it actually is ideal because after we're all away for the long weekend, yeah. what the heck are you gonna do for groceries and dinners for the week coming up? So we'll spend an hour together and then we'll all be set for the week. So. Exactly, so what we plan to do is spend an hour with you on Facebook Live. We're going to give you an idea of what we'll be making that day. So our plan is to have two dinners, 
uh, a make ahead breakfast for the week mm -hmm. and a snack for the week that we will prep live with you in this virtual meal prep. We will send you the grocery list for those recipes the week before our meal prep session. And so when you join us live, you will be cooking and prepping at the same time as us. And within that hour, you will have two dinners, you'll have a make ahead breakfast for the week, and you'll have snacks for the week all prepared along with us. While you join us, you'll also be able to ask us any questions that you have about some of the products that we use or how we prepare things, um, because we'll be here live with you. And if for some reason you can't make it that day, we'll keep the video up on our Facebook page so that you can have a look at it the next day. You'll be able to access the grocery list and do it live whenever it's convenient whenever you, you want to meal prep. So we'll all have meals for the week, us too, which is awesome. Exactly. That's what we do. There is nothing Anyways. to lose here, people. So <laughs> you want to join us. So how do you join us? Um, so comment below this Facebook Live that you're watching right now, or if you're watching after, just comment. Say, hey, I want to join you guys for the meal prep. Yeah. And then we'll tag you and add you to our Facebook group so the, to make sure that you'll receive the grocery list and the recipes so that you can be prepared. If you follow us on social media, you can, we'll remind you over the next couple of weeks, too, that we have this coming mm -hmm. up, so you can also express your interest that way. And then hopefully we have a little community come together on Monday, May 22nd to meal prep for our week ahead. Yeah, my dog is about to bark behind me. Okay, okay. so <laughs> with that, I just wanted to tell you that we are planning on being back here the first Monday of every month for our regular Facebook Live special food demos. The dog's going a little crazy. He's so okay. excited about this. This is friendly. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so that you know, you can always catch us here Monday evenings if you want to join us. And let us know what else you want to see. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> so thanks to Fred, uh, our co-host for today. He's keeping us on time. Exactly. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. We hope this was super helpful. Again, we really take your questions and comments seriously. And this Facebook Live was actually came about from questions that we had from our friends and family. Mm -hmm. So keep asking us what you want to see, and we will do it because we love you. And well, comment. We'll, we'll respond. Promise. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.